I'm talking about CEO pay versus the, the people who are working for the companies. Yeah, uh, it has, but you know, Warren Buffett says that uh, you know they ought to name these uh, consultants Ratchet, Ratchet, and Ratchet because they just come <laughs> and they bless what the boards want to do. Uh, I think it's a, is a big problem. You know, I own stock in a, a company um, that the CEO has made a shitload of money, a huge, huge amount of money. And the stock is lower than it was a decade ago. And uh, it's just wrong. And, you know, I just don't have the time to tilt the windmills. So I keep the position small or I just move on and uh, sell. Well, at the end of the day, you get what you pay for. And you can pay people to be productive. You can, but I think that uh, business is getting paid more than they uh, produced. And you, you quote Kyle Icahn. He's in a big soapbox on that. And he's not wrong. But uh, business is getting paid more than they produce. In some instances, yes. In some instances, they get paid less. You know, uh, like I said one of my heroes was Henry Singleton of Teledyne. Never made more than a million dollars a year uh, running the company, and he was absolutely brilliant in everything he did. You know, he basically did 130 acquisitions intelligently. He uh, basically bought stocks in other companies intelligently. He uh, managed his own capital structure. He bought back 90% of his stock before dying uh, very intelligently. He made the investors a shitload of money, never, paid, never got paid a lot of money. And he made the money because he owned 20% of the company. And he was totally aligned with the shareholders. I think that this uh, income disparity is a very long-term issue, and it has to be dealt with through education. Amen. Uh, unpack, that. unpack that. Amen. Well, you know, uh, basically... Uh, you got to create economic opportunity for people, and you got to give them the tools to be competitive. Uh, and uh, I think education is the the best way to do it. Uh, are you familiar with Michael Saylor? Uh, he's the crypto guy. He's the crypto guy. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, I take a cop out on crypto. I, they say if you don't understand crypto, that means you're old. I'm 78. I don't understand crypto. I don't want to say it's a fraud. I think blockchain technology is for real. I don't understand crypto. I, I got a couple million bucks with a money manager. He has a 4% position. So I got $80,000 in crypto. You got $80,000 in crypto. Yeah. That's what, so you, that's two Bitcoins, yeah. give or take. Yeah. So, <laughs> the two and a half million yeah, dollar I, I guys I know, got no, two Bitcoins. <laughs> I, I, I know nothing about it. I don't have an intelligent view. I know smart people on both sides. <clears throat> so me, me too. And I'm, and I'm, uh, uh, I own a, pos I have a, a position in Bitcoin and Ethereum, but I'm, I, a person wouldn't call me like, oh, this guy's a, you know, full on. But I have Michael Saylor here the other day. And smart the guy. Seems yeah. like a very smart guy. Well, you said education. I said, so why are you doing these things? This is only one reason. I got to educate people. I got to educate people about, about, about why, why Bitcoin makes sense. The one part that uh, more and more I think about it, more and more I think about what's going on is when, when what took place with Ukraine and uh, Russia, what's going on right now over there, right? Or what happened with Canada, the whole truckers, what they were doing. They can shut down your checking account if they wanted to. They can shut down your credit cards. They can shut down access to a lot of that stuff. I can't send gold to you, my family in Iran, and say, hey, you're going through tough times? Here, in 30 seconds, I'm going to send you gold. I can't send that. If, if the direction of how exchange can take place, the blockchain technology, as well as Bitcoin or Ethereum, that's making more and more sense for the younger audience. And some of the older guys are starting to say, maybe, maybe this does make sense. But Charlie Munger came out. And which rat poison? Yeah, he called it rat poison. It's what he. Yeah, he can he say does, whatever he wants. He did, he did not say good things about uh, uh, yeah. Bitcoin. I would be more aligned with him, but the truth is, I've learned over the years: you speak about things you know something about. I, I don't know enough about it. Charlie's a very bright guy, uh, and uh, he speaks his mind. Uh, Jamie Dimon has said things about it. Uh, Warren Buffett has said things about it. I don't. I don't think it's in the interest of the U.S. dollar to uh, the U.S. country to promote an alternative currency. Um, but it may emerge on its own, who knows? Do you have control over that? That's free market no, though, no, right? The yeah. market decides. I think they've missed their chance. There's trillions of dollars now held in this stuff so that they outlaw it. They'll just tax it to death, that's all. They'll, they'll, they'll basically have adverse taxes on uh, Bitcoin.